Hi, welcome to my channel. At kung bago ka lang dito, ay huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe at pindutin lang ang notification bell para lagi kayong updated sa aking mga bagong mat tutorial videos. Today, ang pag-aaralan natin ay about triangle angle bisector theorem. And later, we will solve for the unknown side by applying the triangle angle bisector theorem. So, according to this theorem, if a segment bisects an angle of a triangle, then it divides the opposite side into segment proportional to the other two sides. Try natin class dito sa triangle AHE. Tapos, lagyan natin ng segment na humahate sa angle AHE. At tawagin natin ito class na line segment HD or line segment TH. Tapos, i-analyze natin yung theorem. If a segment bisects an angle of a triangle, so kung ang segment daw ay hinate ang angle ng triangle, katulad nitong ginawa natin, then it divides the opposite side into segment proportional to the other two sides. So, ibig sabihin class, itong opposite side na ito ay nahate sa dalawang Segment. So, nagkaroon tayo class ng segment AB and segment DE. At itong segments na ito ay proportional sa dalawa pang sides ng triangle, which is segment AH, so ito po, and segment HE. At para mas lalo nyong maintindihan, ipakita natin gamit ang if and then. So, if line segment BH bisects angle AHE, then segment AD over segment ED is proportion to segment AH over EH. Now, let's solve for the unknown side using triangle angle bisector theorem. So, una, gawan muna natin class ng proportionality statement. So, BD over AD is equal to BC over AC. Then, substitute lang natin yung given. So, magkakaroon tayo class ng 25 over 15 is equal to X over 18. So, tingnan natin class saan ba galing yung 25 over 15. So, kanina class sa proportionality statement natin, BD over AB. So, sabi natin, isa substitute lang natin yung given. So, ito class yung ating BD, so 25. Ito naman class yung ating AD, 15. Kaya po, meron tayong 25 over 15. So, yung BC naman class is X, and then yung ating AC is 18. So, pag na-substitute na natin class, pwede na natin i-apply yung cross product property. So, sa cross product property, 25 times 18. And 25 times 18 is equal to 450. Next is, 15 times x is 15x. After that, i-divide naman natin class yung both sides ng equation by 15. So, dito makukuha na natin yung value ng x. x is equal to 30. Okay, another example. Triangle EFG bisects by segment FH. So, gawan lang ulit natin class ng proportionality statement. So, yung proportionality statement natin dito is GH over EH is equal to FG over FE. Tapos, substitute yung GH natin ay X at sa HC natin class walang nakalagay. Pero since yung GE is equal to 10, so pwede natin ilagay sa EH ay 10 minus X and equal to 6 
over 9. Tapos, cross product property, 9 times x is equal to 9x. And 10 minus x multiplied to 6 is 60 minus 6x. Then, i-apply natin dito class yung addition property of equality. Add both sides by 6x, so magiging 15x is equal to 60. And last, divide both sides by 15, so x is equal to 4. Then, yung gh is 4, and eh naman ay 6. And for our last example, so dito class, walang naka-indicate or walang nakalagay na name sa ating triangle. So, ang gagawin natin, yung proportionality statement natin ay direkta na doon sa mismong given value. So, 5 minus x over x is equal to 15 over 10. Then, cross multiply natin. 5 minus x multiply to 10 is equal to 50 minus 10x. So, pasensya na class doon sa akin PowerPoint. Nagkaroon ng problema hindi uh, tumama yung ating equal sign so next naman class is uh, 15 times x is 15x pagkatapos i-apply natin class yung addition property of equality add both sides by 10x so magiging 50 is equal to 25x tapos division property of equality naman Divide natin both sides by 25, so x is equal to 2. So, this segment class is equal to 2. At ito naman class, 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. So, hanggang dito na lang class. Kung meron po kayong hindi naintindihan at meron kayong gustong itanong, ilagay lang sa ating comment section at isa-isa natin niyang sasagutin. Muli, maraming salamat sa panonood. God bless.